My name is Elias Gallegos. I'm a second degree black belt under Master Horder Gracie. I'm the head instructor and professor at Grace Humaita Eastlake in Chula Vista, California. The vision for our Little Ninjas team is real simple. It's to make kids uh, have their lives changed through jiu-jitsu. It's not so much about winning trophies or winning medals or getting to a certain rank, but the vision for our school is to make sure that these kids, their lives are changed like my life was changed through jiu-jitsu. I think some of the biggest strengths of our team, what separates our team from other schools, is that we don't teach full guard. Um, we teach our beginners, you know, they understand what pulling guard is, but we incorporate a lot of judo, a lot of wrestling. I brought in wrestling coaches. We have a, a, an arrangement with a judo club up the street where I bring those black belts in, and all of our kids from the beginners to the uh, adults, we're learning wrestling, we're taking, we're taking you to the ground, we're not letting you take us to the ground. So that's one of our biggest strengths, our grappling, our wrestling, our throws. I would place my team in the top, one of the top kids programs in the nation, not just in Southern California. I'll put my top guys up against anybody's uh, top team, uh, kids team program, and I have no doubt they'll end up on top. I think what separates my school, or the Grace Sumaita Eastlake from other schools, is that uh, we don't just teach sports jiu-jitsu here, we teach self-defense. The, the goal of my school is to make sure that my kids are able to defend themselves first and foremost. So while we do really good in sports jiu-jitsu, we have world champions, Pan Am champions, uh, a lot of other schools, that they don't teach self-defense, and that's what jiu is about. And I make sure that all of my students, from the youngest to the oldest, are instilled with what Grandmaster Hillier wanted people to learn from jiu-jitsu, and that's self-defense. One thing that I believe is special about our instructors is that we just keep to the basics. You know, we're grinders, we work hard, we train hard, and nothing, nothing can substitute for, for hard work and hard training. And uh, I know a lot of other schools do that, but I think we do that more. We train our kids hard, we push our kids hard. Um, you know, we have secret training classes for our, our advanced guys. And I know other schools have, you know, they do the exact same thing, but I feel we push our kids. I feel nobody pushes their kids like we push ours. The environment is family oriented, it's very, uh, very friendly. But when we get on the mat, when we, when we put the gi on, we put the kimono on, we get after it. So the parents know, the adults know, you come here, we, you're part of a family, but when you get on the mat, uh, you're going to war, we're training for war. Trevor Fune is a world champion, Pan Am champion, and Ethan de Guzman uh, and Ethan Esteban are Pan Am and world champions as well. When I take my entire team up to this, the Grappling Night Championships, I have no doubt we're coming back with that team trophy. The benefits of having a kids only championship is it's, it's going to make the sport grow. Um, you know, a lot of other organizations out there, um, you know, they claim to be big, but they're not run on time, they're run very poorly. Grappling X has always run on time, top notch, with, from the beginning to the end. And uh, when they put out this world championship, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to set the standard, and it's going to set the mark, and we're glad to be a part of that. Yeah, especially for the teams in San Diego, Outliers and Paul Silva, we're coming for you guys. You guys better be ready.